I'm Kamala Alexander, Assistant Professor at Johns Hopkins School of Nursing. The way that the fellowship was defining leadership as well as the way they were defining innovation really intrigued me. I, I'm interested in seeing um, different ways that are a little bit more nuanced than what we traditionally see in academia, particularly because my research is focused in um, community-based settings outside of clinical settings. I'm a public health nurse by training and specialty and really excited to merge uh, my previous leadership experience working in federally qualified health centers as a director of nursing um, with my scholarly pursuits to understand the effects of violence and trauma on the lives of, of women and men living in marginalized communities. Share with me your initial thoughts of your cohort, this inaugural cohort, and the program so far. What really intrigues me is the diversity in our scholarship as well as the fact that we are all over the country and doing, pursuing very different areas of um, scholarship, as well as um, doing different things in communities, as well as clinical settings. We have a chance to really transform nursing and um, really think, do, do some deep thinking about how our um, innovations, as well as our scholarship, our leadership in um, the in nursing as a profession as well as a discipline can can make an, an indelible mark. The unique lens that you bring to the nursing profession. Tell me a little more about that community health perspective. I became a nurse as a result of being a Peace Corps volunteer um, in Ecuador, where I worked with some fabulous community health workers as well as nurses. Um, that were doing some amazing work in HIV prevention and health promotion. I didn't pursue um, clinical work in a hospital or institutional setting. I primarily worked with communities and um, that has really served me well. What are your hopes for how the fellowship develops your leadership skills and the contributions you're able to make to the nursing profession? Learning more about how to take my past and current experiences in leadership and changing the way that I'm viewing and pursuing new scholarship. Learning the principles of human-centered design, I hope to increase my, uh, the depth of my methodological knowledge and increasing my reach to um, marginalized and um, Black, Indigenous, and people of color. In the, in the field as well as um, outside of the field and communities that, that need this, um, need to see people that look like them that are doing this type of work. What big problems are you tackling um, in your research? My project is focused on the lives of black young women that are ages between 16 and 24 because they are disproportionately affected by um, violence as well as risks to their sexual health. So in my, in my work, what we're going to do is build off of a current project that I have that is um, looking at the characteristics of how social networks shape protection as well as risk profiles for young women uh, that are living in communities um, of color. What I'm going to do is um, I, is expand that reach to understand how everyday routines and daily activity spaces will also, in, also include um, risk and protective factors. And then develop, an, develop interventions that can build off of those strengths that already exist to enhance the protective factors or the protective places that women are already finding so that we can keep them safe um, and they can keep themselves safe. Are you optimistic about the next three years and, and the um, advances that you'll be able to make in your research? Oh, yes. I feel that equity and systemic racism are things that people are not um, shying away from and are, lo are looking to learn more about. And I just appreciate being in a space and in, in an environment, being invited into a space where that is something that is you know, at the forefront, that we're not trying to hide it, that we're trying to really tackle the problem and, and see how we can 
solve it. Nursing, you know, has a lot of work to do. And to be among a group of nurses that are, you know, at you know, similar places in our career, um, really invested in, in, in rigorous scholarship. I think that we're in a good place to be able to, to really put forth some, some transformational solutions that will um, make the profession better and equitable and inviting and welcoming so that the health of all populations can be at the forefront of you know, the American dream.